We're learning about basic types of cells, animal cells, plant cells. And it's not a good idea to try to put a label on Dennis Moore. I'm Dennis Moore and I teach biology at Singer Hall. Okay, but Dennis is so much more than that. When he was a young boy, Dennis spent all his time playing outside and developed a love for science and nature. At the same time, he was developing another love. 1976, I got an art, an art award at the Bicentennial Celebration in Middletown for my drawings in elementary school. For me, I was a kid who struggled early on with speaking. I stuttered a lot. I was in the lowest reading group in elementary school. Drawing was always a way to show that I understood things. But as a six foot three kid in middle school, Dennis was steered towards athletics, not art. And after high school, he was recruited to play football in college. Dennis, a student athlete, chose North Carolina. That was amazing. I said I was interested in biology and they didn't show me the stadium, they didn't show me the locker room. They said, this is Jean to say, she is the head of the biology department. I talked to her for about an hour and I would have signed right then just from talking to her. And then we talked about football. At Milton Hershey School, Moore brings all his loves together. He's been a successful assistant football coach and his talent in art is a tool to help teach biology. That's mighty mitochondria. They tend to remember it for the test on the eighth, yeah. This science teacher likes to doodle, and his sketches end up on study guides, diagrams, and flowcharts. Those are bluebirds, of course, we have migrate through here every year. Um, next to it's a chimpanzee. I worked with the Jane Goodall Institute years ago with a couple projects. And then the third one is uh, a different type of frog, actually native to Central America. Dennis says he's fortunate that his peers and principals have always supported the way he does things in class. Less lectures and more questioning, doing, and drawing. Yes, most of it's nature related, definitely. It's a good end process to get kids thinking a little more like scientists by drawing from the knowledge of this special science teacher.